princess chasing a bear through the forest. But that's fine. I've rarely been accused of acting like a princess. I'm Merida, my father's daughter. That's him, Fergus, the Bear King of Dumbrock. He taught me to ride a horse, swing a sword, and shoot a bow. But presiding over the court, that's my mother's speciality, Queen Eleanor, the diplomat. She's always trying to teach me to be a proper princess. She doesn't understand me. She doesn't even try. Ugh, I wish, I wish she were different. Here's a fine weapon. Do something. Maybe I have to step on them in a certain way.
keep chasing her. Oh. This is all that witch's fault. The will of the wisps. They'll lead me back to the witch's cottage. Then I can make her change mum back. Mum had her own plans for my life. She didn't even care what I wanted, so I ran away. And I found myself at the witch's cottage. Was it someplace real, or just there because I wanted it to be? I ordered the witch to give me a spell. Demanded it. Ugh, what a fool I was. They're amazing! I wonder if Dad's ever seen them. You! You turned my mother into a bear! This is all your fault! My fault! My fault! My fault? Oh, but who am I to refuse the future Queen of Dunbrock? All right, but you tricked me! Anger and mistrust. That's what caused this in the first place. You caused this. No, child. This magic is far older than the spell that changed your mom. Long ago, a terrible bear born of willfulness and mistrust began to stalk these forests. Mordu! <coughs> Mordu? Aye. But the beast lives on. Mordu is kept alive by anger and selfishness. He still wanders the forest. His cursed spirit corrupting the power of the ancient stones. That corruption has seeped out from the stones, blighting the forest and resurrecting all manner of terrible creatures from ages past. Harpies, mandrakes, spirit wolves. And it's twisted me own magic, too, making the results unpredictable. The mother's touched by that magic now. Mordu's power comes from the very waystones he's corrupted. You must defeat the creatures to cleanse the waystones and turn back the blight. Me? Why do I have to do it? Because, you silly girl, you're the best archer in this kingdom. Well, aren't ya? But can I trust you? <laughs> <laughs> Without trust, your mother will be trapped like that forever. Do you want her to end up like Mordu? No! Of course not! I suppose I've no choice then. Ah, I almost forgot! Keep, take this charm. You'll need its help to cleanse the first waystone. Now go, quickly! While we were gabbing about, the blight's already spread here! To my own home! Yes! Ha-ha! <laughs> bit of magic to help me against the monsters. What am I doing? These woods were dangerous even before the blight. Everything's so dark now. Evil. But it was clear just moments ago. <laughs> back to normal, I should be able to restore the rest of the forest. And Mum! Maybe that old witch was telling the truth. And that means Mordu was just here. Now when you're ready, I'll open new lands to explore. 
You must travel through each land and cleanse all of the waystones within the Maybe I should try an earth charm on those. Devils! My brothers, Hamish, Hubert, and Harris. There's nothing in the entire kingdom they can't get a hold of. Including a cursed cake. Ah well, this spell does seem to suit you boys better than poor mum. Maybe you can help. boys. Now stay close and be careful. <gasps> Startling resemblance to my dear old dad.
I wished my mother to be different so that I might change my fate. It was just a wee wish, but I soon found out there are no wee wishes. Do something. Why do I have to step on them in a certain way? Mom? Huh? 